Well, hey, Ransom Church, Merry Christmas. I hope you are having an incredible time, an incredible Christmas day with your family and your friends. And I don't want to take a lot of your time today, but I did want to pause and share a thought with you this Christmas. And this Christmas thought is brought to you by none other than Starbucks. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I like coffee a lot. Uh, many of the sermons that you listen to every week are fueled by the Holy Spirit and a warm cup of coffee. But I wouldn't say that as I wrestled with what to share with you this Christmas that I was expecting to find that answer literally on a cup of coffee. So imagine my surprise when one day a friend of mine sent me a picture of their coffee cup from Starbucks. And on that cup was my inspiration. If you want to look it up, it was Starbucks cup number 92. And here's what it said. You are not an accident. Your parents may not have planned you, but God did. He wanted you alive and created you for a purpose. Focusing on yourself will never reveal your purpose. You were made by God and for God. And until you understand that, life will never make sense. Only in God do you discover your origin, your identity, meaning, purpose, significance, and destiny. You might recognize Rick Warren's name from his book, The Purpose Driven Life. However, uh, even though this quote may be attributed to Dr. Warren, the content of the quote is all God. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and I appointed you as my prophet to the nations. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and you knit me together in my mother's womb. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He's the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. See, you were made by God and you were made for God. Now this Christmas, as you spend time with family, as you open gifts and share meals, and as you take time to slow down, remind yourself that over 2,000 years ago on that quiet night, the Son of God gave up heaven, took on flesh, and came to earth for you. That's what this season is all about. And whatever you receive this Christmas, that's really the only gift that matters. Merry Christmas. Thank you.